integrate. We've already seen how we can differentiate term by term. Well, can we integrate term by term? Well, yes, and here's a theorem. Suppose I got some function f, and f of x is this power series. The sum n goes from 0 to infinity of a sub n x to the n. And big R is the radius of convergence of this power series. Well, then I can integrate this function term by term, meaning that the integral of f of x dx, x goes from 0 to some parameter t, is the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, of this, a sub n times t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And this is true for any value of t between minus r and r. If you want to be a little bit more specific, it turns out the radius of convergence of this series is exactly the same as the radius of convergence of this series. Well, and if you're wondering where this uh, term comes from, right, that is exactly what you would get just by integrating the term a sub n x to the n, right? The integral of a sub n x to the n dx, x goes from 0 to t. Well, that just is a sub n times t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Armed with this result, we can do some pretty great stuff. For example, we know that the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n, well, that's 1 over 1 minus x as long as the absolute value of x is less than 1. I mean, in other words, right, in this particular instance, the radius of convergence, big R, is 1. Well, let's integrate that. So the integral from x equals 0 to t of 1 over 1 minus x dx. Yeah, what is that integral? Well, I can uh, evaluate that by making a u substitution. So let's set u equal to 1 minus x, and in that case, du is just minus dx. Now, I don't see a minus dx there, but I can artificially create a minus dx with some carefully placed minus signs there. Okay, now I've got a negative dx there. That looks great. So this is negative the integral. x goes from 0 to t of, well, and I've just got a du over 1 minus x, but that's u. So I want to know, how do I anti-differentiate 1 over u? Well, this is negative log the absolute value of u, then evaluated at x equals t and x equals 0, and I take the difference. So that's negative log of, well, what's u? It's absolute value, 1 minus x, and I'm evaluating this at x equals 0 and at t. So this is negative log of the absolute value of 1 minus t, and then it would be subtracting this with x equals 0, but I'm subtracting a negative, so I'm going to add the log of the absolute value of 1 minus 0. Well, what's log of 1? Log of 1 is just 0, so I don't need to include this term. So all told, if I integrate 1 over 1 minus x from 0 to t, what I'm getting is negative the natural log, the absolute value of 1 minus t. Now we can integrate the power series term by term. Okay, so we just showed that negative log, the absolute value of 1 minus t, is the integral, x goes from 0 to t, of 1 over 1 minus x dx. And I'm going to replace this 1 over 1 minus x with a power series. So this is equal to the integral, x goes from 0 to t, of instead of 1 over 1 minus x, the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n, because 1 over 1 minus x is equal to this, well, as long as the absolute value of x is less than 1, uh, dx. Okay, now I'm integrating a power series, and by the theorem, I can do that term by term. So this is the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of the integral of uh, x going from 0 to uh, t of x to the n dx. So I just have to be able to do this integration problem. So this is the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of what's this? Well, I'm integrating x to the n dx from x equals 0 to t. So that's t to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So there it is, right? I found a series for this function for negative the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus t. Here's a power series for that function. And it's valid for which values of t? Well, as long as t is less than 1 in absolute value. Before we get too excited, it's worth mentioning a fine point here. Well, one case when you'd like to use this formula 
is when t equals negative 1. Because in that case, what do you get? Well, then you get negative the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus negative 1 is equal to what? Well, it's equal to this series. The sum n goes from 0 to infinity of now negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And I can simplify this a bit, right? What is this? Negative the natural log of 1 minus negative 1. Well, this is just 2. So this is negative the natural log of 2 is given by this series. Or is it? Right? The issue here is that I'm going to plug in t equals negative 1, but strictly speaking, that's not one of the values of t that I'm allowed to plug in. If you want to dig deeper, there are some other theorems that you might want to look into. For example, it turns out that this is true. Right? It turns out that negative the natural log of 2 is given by this alternating series. But to justify that, you do a little bit more. One way to do it is by invoking Abel's theorem.